Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to the another Angular tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to explain how we're going to work with the wishlist item using the e-commerce store. So in the last videos, if you watch, I have built the e-commerce store and we have covered all the add to cart functionality. And in this video, I've covered up the wishlist card items, right? And if you guys can follow along and that will be good if you want to jump directly to this video so i want to put the source code in the description so you guys can download it right so here you see we have our a lot of products and based on the product if i click here and you can see it can highlight it the uh the hard and if i just unclick it so it's gonna toggle it up and and shows that the uh, product is removed from the from the wishlist item right so if i just want to add multiple products like just like here and you see here it's all popped in the snack bar and if i just want to add more and if i just want to remove so it also shows that the uh, product is also removed from the card item and if i just try to refresh this and you guys could see that it still hold the values because we it's all saved in the local storage right so so that's what we're gonna guys build in this video so i hope you guys will love it so let's jump in and get started here so here you see here we have already built the e-commerce store in the last two videos so if you guys want to jump into it and want to learn about the e-commerce and everything so you can jump directly to the video and if you want to follow along with that for only for the specific wish list so you, i have the code in the description so you guys can follow along with that by downloading it all right so let's uh start here so first i have to create here the uh, wish list icon and for this we need to have a font awesome library so i already have here so if i'm gonna go inside my source and index.html and that's where you see that we already bring up here the um, the uh, all uh, font awesome library for here so that should be uh, this one right so you see here we have our 6.5.1 already defined for the font awesome all right so next inside the app folder inside the source app folder we have a components and for the components we have our all the products here so products.component.html that's where you can see all the products display here with the help of fake store api all right so next right after the button I just want to zoom this up for you guys so if i just want to add here the uh, wishlist icon for first so let's create that first here and i'm going to create here a button with the class of uh, bdn uh, dot bdn dash link and i want to make that a little zoom a uh, little big in size so not here not this sorry so let's uh, let's create the button first and right inside the button, I'm going to create here the icon for this. So let's create that. So fa dot uh, fas dot fa dash hard. And I want to make it a little bit big in size. So let's give that one here, right? And if I go back to my browser and you can see now, we can see the uh, wish list item, right? All right. So so next thing that I'm going to do here is let's let's create here a click event. So right inside the button, I'm going to create here the uh, uh, click event not here it should be uh, inside the uh, button so click equal to and let's let's name let's name that to be toggle wish list and let's bring here the item so whatever we clicked here so this is going to bring everything uh, every single item of the product that whatever we click here so this is going to create inside the uh, inside the component.ts file as you could see does not exist so I'm going to create right underneath the uh, add to cart. All right, so let's define here the product. And let's console.log just to check this out if I click right. And if I pass here product and if I go to the inspect element and if I just try to click here and you can see now the ID of the fourth and this product ID is three. So, so soon I click on here. So this is gonna bring us the all the IDs. Now the idea is here that whenever I click on the uh, icon, so first the product added to the wish list, and if I click twice, it should uh, it's gonna remove it from the uh, wish list array, right? So we have to create here a toggle. So we have to define here the uh, toggle wish list condition. So let's first create here a method inside the uh, product.company.ts file, which will check either if the if the if that product ID is uh, is present in the wish list area or not. So for this, I'm going to create here a method with the name of is in wish list. All right. So let's here the uh, let's make it of type boolean 
and I also need to bring up here the product as well. All right, so so basically the reason why I just bring it the, the bring it to be boolean because this will check either that uh, product is uh, true or false. So basically it will toggle it up. So it will check if that if that is in the wishlist item. So this is gonna add the product otherwise so it's gonna remove it from the uh, from the wishlist item, right? So I'm gonna call here the card API service, which is already defined. As you could see here, we have defined inside the constructor. That's where we call our service. So let's define here the method with the name of uh, is in wish list, which we have to define in the service. And let's pass here the uh, product, all right? So whatever the product is. So I'm gonna go inside my card API service and 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 that's that's where i'm going to define that if that is in the wish list item or not right so first we have to define here the uh, let me go right top of the uh, card items uh, right here so let's define here private and uh, let's let's give it the name of uh, wish list item so wish list items product and let's make this one, this one, right? So basically this is the wish list items array and right below it, we have to see either that uh, that product is in wish list or not. So just right after the remove card item, I'm gonna define here the method, which we have defined our, in our product.company.ts file. Let me copy this one here and define inside our service. All right, so is it in the wish list or not? So this could again of type return type boolean and we have to pass here the product. All right, so I have to check, let me return this dot, uh, this dot, um, it should be, uh, let me check this dot uh, is in wish list items. Uh, this start yeah there it is so return this start wish list items and that's where i'm gonna check if some so basically this is a javascript function which which returns true if that is if that product is added into the wish list items so this is going to return true if some of the elements in the array exist right so i'm going to pass here the item as a callback as a parameter and item.id is equal to that product.id. So basically this will check if that product is, is present inside the uh, wishlist item. So this is gonna return true. And if it doesn't exist, so this is gonna return as false. All right, that's, that's what as simple as the, is, is that it could do. All right, so let me go back to the, to the products.company.ts file and uh, I have to go right here inside the toggle wish list and I have to see, let me call that method is in wish list. So if this exists and we have to pass here the product and we, we need to check if that product, like if that uh, ID of the product added into the wish list item. So that's gonna remove it. Otherwise it's gonna add if that ID doesn't exist. So let me create here this dot service card API and I'm gonna create here the name of the service which we haven't created yet. Let's give it the name of wish list. So remove from wish list. So first it's gonna remove it. And if that doesn't exist and on the other case, we are gonna, we are, we are gonna remove it from it. So this dot card API dot add to wish list and let's pass here the product right and now i'm going to define these uh first time we uh, i'm going to create here the add to wish list in the uh, service Look, let's go back here and right after the is in wish list so that's where i'm going to define my service for the uh, add to wish list right so let's that's the name of the method and again i'm going to pass here the uh, product So right here, right inside this, so this could be of type void, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is this dot wishlist item. That's the uh, wishlist items array, and I'm gonna push everything inside the uh, inside inside the wishlist item, right? And I also have to show the message the notification service. So that's the service where you're gonna show the message if you have watched my 
previous video, you guys could uh, see uh, easily that's the service that we created and we bring it inside our inside the uh, notification service, right? So that's what we have created separately. And uh, we define that up inside our card API service. All right, so let's define that. And I have to show here the message of show success. And let me add here backticks to see the dynamic title of the product. So product.title added to wish list. All right, that simple as that, right? So that's the uh, method for the add to wish list. And now I also have to create here another method, which is the, uh, let me go inside the product.component.ts and let's define this in the, uh, in the uh, card abs service again it could be of type void and let's bring up here the product and now here right inside here i'm going to define that let me check the index of the product means that if that wish list items wish list items array must have the id if that id exists and uh, if that ID already matched, then we are gonna like uh, remove the product from the wish list, right? So does, what does it mean? So what we pass the item, so item dot ID is equal to equal to that product dot ID. So what actually it means that whenever that product is added and we are gonna remove it from the wish list item, it will check from the index if that value matches with the product or id so this is gonna remove the uh, the id from the wishlist items array right so we am gonna what i'm gonna check if if that index value is not equal to equal to minus one means that if it's an, if it's not minus one so this is gonna splice it's gonna remove the uh, product from the wishlist right so i'm gonna do here is this dot wishlist item dot splice is a method to remove it from the array and we have to pass here the index value whatever the index value is and we have to delete the one record from the uh, array all right so i also have to define here this notification survey just like we did above so let me copy this one here and just change the uh, the uh, text to add it to removed from wish list all right, so saves it and now everything looks well. So if I go back to the products.company.ts file, as you could see now, now everything works well. All right, so last thing, if you guys could see, if I click here, you can see the snack bar, but it's very confusing, although it's gonna save inside the wishlist items, but we can't see either it's like um, added into the wishlist or not. So we have to have a condition if that exists, if that ID exists in the wishlist item, I have to make this like uh, highlighted, right? So if you go inside my product.component.ts file, I already defined here the class of active. So let me go inside my HTML file. I have to bring up here the condition, which is the uh, ng class to show the dynamically um, CSS, right? So I have to bring here the active, only it will be active that if it's in the, uh, in the wishlist items, right? Make sure that let's pass here the item as well. So it will check if, the, if it will be only active if it's in the uh, wishlist and, and it will check that and, and make it to be uh, of color red, right? If I go back here, and if I click on here and you can see now the, the, the product added to the wish list. And if I close it, you can see now it's removed from the wish list, right? So let's add mother two, three. So like you can see now, now we are, it, it's working very well, right? So one last thing, if I just want to refresh this, you can see now everything removed from there, right? So we need to bring up here something which is the local storage that what we have done in the last video for adding the product to the card, right? So let's do let's let's do it up here, right, as well. So what I'm gonna go here is let's go inside the um, card API dot service dot ts file, and I'm gonna define here the uh, storage key just like we bring it for the card items. So let's go right down here. I'm gonna define here the uh, the wish list for the. Let's give it the uh, storage wish list. 
um, let's give it the name of uh, wish list items and again I just want to give it the uh, wish list items all right so right inside here I have to also create the I have to get the uh, store items from the wish list so let's create here stored wish list items equal to local storage dot get item and I have to bring here this dot um, this should be um, this dot storage wish list item right and basically what we did here is this is the uh, this is how we can get it from the local storage right and and if you want to save it we have to use something which is known as set item right so so that's the first thing and the last thing that i'm going to check if that exists so if the um, store wish list items exist then we have to bring this in the uh, this dot wish list items array and make it and parse it up into the uh, json object right so json dot parse and let's let's bring up here the uh, the uh, stored wish list items right so basically if that exists so we need to get it and show it to the uh, show it from the local storage right and this kind of pertains it now that's the uh, first part of it and we also have to it and it will only get if it's stored in the local storage so we have to first set the item right and uh, and for this what i'm going to do here is let me go into the into the add to wishlist item and let's define here a very simple local storage dot set item and uh, we have named it this dot and get the uh, storage wishlist items and i also need to bring up here json.stringify and let's bring up the uh, inside the wishlist items so basically what it means that first we first we set it means that we save into our local storage with the uh, key name whatever we have here on the top and we just bring it inside our wishlist item with the help of json.stringify right so this is gonna convert the javascript object into string right and and same case for the other one i also have to define like the local storage dot set item and again i have to bring up here the name of the key which is the uh, which i already defined on top of it so this dot um, storage um let me check one more thing this should be uh this should be a key name right not the uh yeah it's same right it's fine all right so this dot storage uh wish list items i have to change the name actually that's that's a little bit confusing for me it should be the key right so let's bring up here the key so we know that this is the name of the key right and let's define here as well right here all right so we also have to json dot stringify and let's bring up here the um, this dot um, this dot wishlist item saves it and there we go all right so let's let's refresh this and check this out if everything works well so if i click here man if i just refresh this and you can see now it still pertains to it right so so now we can see now our product added to the to the local storage and if i just refresh this everything works well right so i hope you guys enjoy and if you want to see if you want to check this out if you go to the applications and right here so you see now everything is saving inside our key with the name of wishless uh, wishless items and that's the uh, and that's the array for it that's all the value you can see right so id of uh, id of 6 5 3 4 12 so this is all in the wishlist items and that's what all is saved inside it of it the uh, in the local storage right so i hope you guys love it and please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys for the next time